Number 10. Adultery. Allah the Almighty says, nor come nigh to adultery, for it, for it is an uh, indecent deed and an evil way. The Quran also states, those who invoke not with Allah any other God, nor slay such life as Allah has made sacred, except for just cause, nor commit fornication, and any that does that this not only meets punishment, but the chastisement on the day of judgment will be doubled to him, and he will dwell therein in ignominy. Allah the Most High says, The woman and the man guilty of fornication cause each of them with a hundred stripes, hurt not compassion, move you, and their case in a matter prescribed by Allah if they believe in Allah and the last day, and let a party of the believers witness their punishment. The punishment mentioned in the last verse concerns only single fornicators in the world as argued by the scholars in case of married adulterers even if they experienced marriage before they must be stoned until death as postulated by the prophet peace be upon him but if they escaped the worldly punishment and died without making repentance they will be tortured in the hellfire with the lashes of fire in the psalms it is narrated that adulterers will be hanged from their genitals in the hellfire on which they will be scourged with lashes, slashes of iron. If they cry out of pain, the angels of punishment will address them. Where, where was this cry inaudible before? You just used to laugh, say, and did not keep the thought of Allah, nor were you shy from him. The following hadith was stated by the Prophet peace be upon him. An adulterer is not a believer at the time of committing adultery. The Prophet peace be upon him says, when someone fell in adultery, faith leaves his heart and overshadows him. But if he extricates himself, this faith, his faith will be restored again. It was, it was related that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, whoever, for, whoever fornicates or drinks wine, Allah takes off his faith from him as a man takes a shirt off over his head. There are three people to whom Allah, the Most High, will not talk, nor will he absolve them of sins, nor look at them. An aged person guilty of adultery, a king who lies, and a poor beggar who is proud, on the authority of Ibn Masud, who said, I asked the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, what is the most grievous in the sight of Allah, he said, to associate others with Allah, whereas he created you, and to commit adultery with your neighbor's wife. Allah the Almighty said, Those who invoke not with Allah any other God, nor slay such life as Allah has made sacred, except for just cause, nor commit fornication, and any that does this not only meets punishment, but the chastisement on the day of judgment will be doubled to him, and he will dwell there in an ignominy. Behold, how adultery with one's neighbor, polytheism and slaying the lives of others except for just cause are associated with each other. Once Ibn Masood asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, O Messenger of Allah, what is the most heinous sin? The Prophet answered to hold that Allah has an equal, whereas he has created you. Further, he asked, what is next? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, to kill child lest he feeds with you. He added, What is next? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, To commit adultery with your neighbor's wife. When commenting on Allah's statement to it, 
are seven gates. For each of those gates is a special class of sinners, a sinner. Assigned. Assigned. That's the third. Uh, the most grievous and hated gate of hell is that which is assigned for adulterers, which adulterers who committed such crime after they had been informed of its consequences. Uh, when the people of the fire of hellfire smell a stinking odour, they say we have never smelled an odour more stinking than that. Then they will be told that this is the odour of the adulterer's genitals, one of one of great escapes. Said this odour hurts all the people of the hellfire of all commandments prescribed by Allah to Moses is the following. Do not steal and do not fill into adultery so as not to screen my face from thee. Behold, Moses is the addressee. Addressee, what about the others? It was reported that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Satan Iblis often sends his soldiers everywhere in the earth, saying to them, Whoever diverts a Muslim, I will crown him the most skillful one is diverting people the nearest to me meanwhile a devil comes and says i kept tempting such and such until he divorced his wife if they says you did nothing he will marry another woman another comes and says i kept tempting such and such until i created a bridge between between him and his brother if he says you did nothing he will reconcile with him Eventually comes another devil who says, I kept tempting such and such until he fell in adultery. If this says, great and well done, I then, he, I then he makes him nearer to him and crowns him. We seek our refuge from the evils of Satan and his soldiers. It was reported that on the authority of Ahasuerus, the prophet peace be upon him said, Faith is like a garment which, with which... Allah covers whenever he likes, but if he falls in adultery, this garment will be taken off, and if he repents, he will restore it again. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, O oh, Muslims, be aware of adultery. It has entailed six consequences, three in this world and the others in the next. As for the worldly consequences, they are a pale face, short life, and long poverty. The consequences is in the hereafter are the life of Allah, a severe reckoning and torture in fire. The messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever persists in drinking wine and then dies, Allah will make him drink from the river of Ghutta. A river flows the gen a river flows with genitals of the horse in the fire where will be pus flowing from the horse genitals that which will be offered to whoever dies persistent in drinking wine the prophet peace be upon him said next to porridges and shirt is the semen ejaculated from by a man in an unlawful womb in the hellfire there is a valley in which contains serpents each serpent is as fat as a camel's neck when it stings the ones sting the one who does not pray its poison boils in his abode for seventy years and then his flesh is torn out there is also a valley called the well of Hazan, suffering which contains serpents and scorpions each scorpion is a huge as a mule and has seventy spines each spine ends in a poisonous edge then it strikes the adulterer and sprays poison in his body the adulterer suffers from this pain from this painful poison for a thousand years then his flesh is torn out and pus flows from his genitals from his genitals whoever makes love with a married woman they will suffer the torture which is supposed to afflict half of this nation in grave. Afterwards, on the day of judgment, Allah will give her husband 
who does not know what he do does and the right to dispose of good deeds, but if he knows and does nothing, he and his wife will be deprived of paradise, as there is a statement on the door of paradise which reads unlawful for the prince. Whoever touches a woman who is not lawful to him because of lust, he will be resurrected with his hand tied tied to his neck on the day of judgment in case of kissing his lips will be licked in the fire eventually if he fell in adultery his thighs will witness against him on the day of judgment by saying i lied on an unlawful then allah to looks to him out of wrath looks to him out of wrath thus his face is fresh held down. If he arrogantly says, I never did so, then the tongue witnesses by saying, I produced an unlawful utterance. The hand also says, I touched unlawful things. The eye says, I looked to the unlawful. The leg say to the unlawful objects, and did I walk? Finally, the genital says, I applied as for the guardian angels. He says, I heard another I heard, and another says, I wrote, eventually Allah says, I knew, but I concealed him. Then Allah says, O angels, take him away to torture him. Severe is my wrath on those who are not shy from me. This is shown in Allah's book, Exalted be he. On the day when their tongue, their hands and their feet will bear witness against them as to their actions. The most grievous kind, the most grievous kind of adultery is incestuary with one's mother, sister, stepmother, and unmarriageable relatives. As the Prophet peace be upon him said, whoever falls into adultery with an unmarriageable relative must be killed. That the messenger of Allah peace be upon him sent his uncle to a man who made love with his stepmother to kill him and divide and divide his wealth into five parts like the spoils of war. Therefore we ask Allah the bounteous to forgive our sins, for he is the most bounteous, the most kind. Wow.